Hey guys, it's your boy Pichu, and today I've got a little bit of a showdown live. Now I'm not gonna lie, I haven't really done many showdown live videos, which is kind of which is kind of weird because I thought I'd be doing a lot more than what I've have been doing. I've been mainly doing um WDBS but uh, WSS battles, and so I haven't really done much other than that. So I was like, you know what? It is time, guys. It is time to get my ass on showdown and just blow some kids back. Now I'm going to be doing VGC because VGC is probably one of my it's really interesting because I don't play VGC often. Like, I'm not a VGC player, guys. But I want to get into it. Like, I find it fun. Oh, my God. This guy's got this core. <laughs> yeah, so I find VGC fun, which is why, like, I want to really get into it. So I'll be doing a lot more VGC videos. And hopefully you guys will enjoy that. But we'll just have to wait and see. Now, this guy's got the Oringoru and Torkoal leads, which is why I'm going to lead with Arachnid and Pelop uh, Nihiligo, which deals with that. And uh, Guja. Guja is just a god. So like pretty much, I've been trying to learn the VGC meta, and right now it's um a very interesting, very interesting um like Pokemon actually gets brought to games. Like you'd never think a Torkoal would destroy you, but mate, these things have to blow me back with eruption and stuff. Like so, I'm gonna straight go for the liquidation on the Orangaru and switch into my Pelipar. It's my best possible play. Um, but yeah, like I said, the instruct on Orangaru makes like the double battles. Like, all I'm trying to say is the Instruct is broken. Like, it literally destroys teams. Because, um, without rain here, like, say, like, this Torkoal had Sun Steel, it would just use Eruption. Like, he would use Trick Room, then Torkoal would just go Eruption, and then Orangaru would just go, uh, Instruct. And it literally, two hit KOs everything. Nothing lives. Um, which is crazy. Now, I can just Liquidation the Torkoal and just simply Ice Beam the Garchomp. Actually, no, that's a bad play. I'm going to actually liquidation the Torkoal and wide guard for the rock slide from the guard chomp. Now, that Wimmiscott is going to take so much damage, and I don't think we will take any damage if I predict the rock slide. Ah! See? Pichu is a god. Now, that's... That one hit... Okay, crit. It's a crit. I was going to say, guys, I don't know how... The, like, I know Arachnid was powerful, but damn, a one hit KO. So we take the first game. We are still pretty low on the ladder, but it's all right because we'll um, climb our way up in the set. So we take the first win. I'm going to go straight into our next uh, battle. Like, a, if you haven't noticed my team, Arachnid in the rain is God. Okay, so looking at this guy's team, let me just see. He's got the... Oh, shit. He's got the Coco. Um... Okay, so I'm going to go Pelipper, Arachnid, bring the Malwak and the Gudra, because that walls most of his team. Now, I'm pretty much wire led with this. Actually, no. He... Wow, that is interesting. All right, so I can pretty much just focus fire on the Snorlax. Um, actually, no, I'm going to Water MZ, the Confei, and Liquidation, and the Snorlax. Uh, this is a choice band, Arachnid in the rain, so it will one-shot the Snorlax unless it's got some defense investment. And that, that did damage to the Confei. He uses belly drum. Nah, you're not living, boy. So um, I'm not sure what the his plan was there, but the belly drum. Nah, 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 nah. You're not getting away with that. And he sets up the trick room. The oh, it is game. It is game. So we can basically just hurricane the confei, liquidation the coco, and it is GG. See, pretty much. Um, this team is counter trick room as well. Like. You can't beat Arachnid under Trick Room. It's just not happening, brothers. So next, we go to the next turn. Oh, and it's a forfeit. Boom. So we take two games already. It's not that... Like, this team, it's not that good. Like, I've been trying to make a good team for a while. But damn, we are destroying some people today. Okay, so that guy's got the Coco Garchomp leads. So I think I'm going to predict the... Ooh. Um, Pelipper and Arachnid... Can't, you can't really go wrong with that lead, which is probably why I'm going to lead with that. But I will need the Coco for the Celestelia. And um, I'm thinking of getting Gudra for pretty much everything else. So that's my play. Let's get into the battle. Uh, start the timer on this kid. So in VGC, what I've learned so far in the meta, uh, Coco Garchomp is a great lead. Like, that's a really good offensive core. Um, Alola Ninetales is not bad. Like, Aurora Vowel, um it's just the ultimate screen setter, really. Like, I've used some Nine Tails before. It also destroys Pelipper, so I'm glad he didn't lead with that. Um, right now, I'm kind of scared that he may just go for the T Bolt on my Arachnid. Because usually he they run D Discharge, but he has the Milotic, so I don't think he's running Discharge just yet. Now, what I'm thinking is he knows that 
Alright, I'm predicting the Thunderbolt on the Arachnid, so I'm going to go Hydro Vortex on the Coco and switch out to Gujar. I think that's my best possible play, but we'll have to see. Um, He decides to Volt Switch my Pelipar. Sorry, we just got blown back that turn. Oh, I don't understand. I do not understand. He, that Arachnid could have... Oh, that Arachnid would have done damage. Um... I guess that's not too much big of a deal. We can just go discharge and then sludge bomb the nine tail slot. I think that's our best option. He's probably gonna switch out the melodic. No, he just goes for the protect. That's fine. Uh, we are AV Gudra. We'll take that. Oh, we got frozen. Game. It is game. It is game over. That's unfortunate. It is. Uh, I guess that's how the cookie crumbles. But we did kind of need our. Um, we did kind of need the. Ah, oh, damn it. So now we're going to take an extra blizzard. Oh, that's fine. I reckon it's GG. I'm not even going to lie. I reckon we just got blown back with this nine tails because that freeze. Yeah, we are. Um, so I'm just going to find another game. So, bit unfortunate, but let's just get into it. Uh, let, what are we on right now? We're on six minutes and we've got four games played. God, we are going fast. We did lose that one, but you know, it's not, it's not like it's a freeze. A freeze is a freeze. You can't do much about that. So, um, two wins, one loss, and let's get into the next game. All right, so we have the Orangoru back. Another Orangoru in that first Buzzwall. You do not see many Buzzwalls, but we finally got a Buzzwall. So let's see. Um, uh, wow. Pelipper puts in the work. Uh, Pelipper Arachnid is probably my favorite lead. I'm going to go with that. Gujo puts in the work this game. And also, I think my Nihiligo puts in the work. Actually, Nihiligo should lead. Actually, I'm going to go with the Arachnid Nihiligo lead. I reckon that's my best play with Pelipper and Gujo in the back. Nice, let's go. Alright, let's get it. Um, oh, if we led Pelipper though. Um, I reckon he's just going to go for the standard protect. Okay, I'm going to go liquidation on the Orangoru and switch into Pelipper. I think it's my best play. Um, and then we can hurricane the Buzzwall next turn. Yep, there's the protect and he's going to accept the trick room, but we're not going to let him. Boom, one shot, get out of here. So like... Basically, all the time, Orangoru will always use Protect. I mean, like, the partner will always use Protect. So just gangbang the Orangoru in your set. So I reckon it's GG. Like, I don't know how this guy can really um, come back. Now, we can just... I'm thinking of switching out here into Nihiligo. And because he can't Protect on the Buzzwall, our best place to Hurricane the Buzzwall. I reckon that's our best play. So, let's switch out. I think Pelip is important, so I might, I should, probably should stay in with um, Arachnid, but I don't want to risk Arachnid getting... Oh, there we go! Dappy Bully protects, Hurricane the Buzzwall, get out of my face. Oh, he's Sash! Got too cocky! And we get lunged, that's fine, that is completely fine. So now we can just do the same turn, Sludge Bomb, the Tapu Bulu, and then the Hurricane on the Buzzwall, and that is game. Wow, I'm kicking ass in VGC right now. So, so yeah, the rain, to be honest, I think rain's the most superior weather at the moment. Um, not going to lie, because it counters Torkoal and it stops Ninetales from seeing a pale. I think to the Torkoal lead isn't bad. Like, Torkoal is destroying VGC at the moment. Or well, not destroying, that's a bit of exaggeration, but it's putting in so much work. So I think, uh, actually, Power Gem one-shots the Vicar Vault and Hurricane easy. So that's, that's game. And that is GG. So, three wins. Let's get on to the next game. Let me just close these games. I reckon this will be our last game. With Then we hit five games. I don't know if I'm crunching these too fast. But I like to play my games real quick. So let's just... Uh, oh, this is an easy... Okay. Alright, and here go Pelipper. I reckon is our best play. Um, with a tad of Gudra. Because Gudra is amazing. And... I mean, there's nothing wrong with going Coco. Like, Coco puts in the work. I'm working... Yeah, Coco. Uh, actually, Malwak. No, Coco. Uh, we'll go Coco. Uh, so, Gigalith. You don't see too many Gigaliths in VGC, but I have seen a, a what? A, like, a, not a lot of them, but, like, I've seen a few. They do kind of counter Tapu Lele in a way, um, but they. I don't think that Gigalith is that good in VGC. Uh, Garchomp and Coco, I, like I said, man, this lead is just amazing. It's so hard to beat. Uh, I'm not sure what this guy's doing. We'll start the timer on the kid. Um, let's see. I haven't even used Malwak yet. 
my work probably doesn't fit in my team like too much that's why I probably don't bring it but I guess it, it's a scary one. Um, usually I bring it to counter Coco, but Garchomp, because he's got the Garchomp and Coco, I can't risk being EQ'd with Malwak, so there's no point in bringing Malwak. Um, but I mean, yeah, I reckon my team's well balanced enough. I probably don't need Malwak, but I might sub it in later. Alright, so this is an excellent, um, this is pretty good. I don't know if he's going to Volt Switch, but... I reckon switch out to ooh. I kinda I kinda know he's gonna switch out on the um Tapu Coco. Now I know uh, they carry Volt Switch to switch out, but I think my oh no 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 okay. Um I gotta sludge bomb the Coco slot and switch out to Gudra because I can't lose my Pelipper just yet. So I wanna do that. Let's switch out. Um, the only problem, oh he actually Volt switches on the Nihiligo, he's probably going to EQ, uh, he's going to switch into Celestia. Um, not much I can do about that, wow that Gigalith did so much damage. Alright, so who's my best option to kill? That Gengar does outspeed us. Um, let's see. I reckon if we switch in Pelop and go Muddy Water, that will do damage. So hopefully the Gengar goes for our Pelipper. Oh, he goes for the Protect, so this Gigalith may get blown back. Okay, so it does, it doesn't kill, but it's alright. Um, he goes for the EQ, we do save one of our Mons. Um, now, I think I need to go Coco just to kill the Gengar. I think that's our play. Alright, let's go for that. Alright, so we're going to go Wide Guard and then Discharge, and this is going to do a lot of damage to his team. Um, as long as we keep, as long as we keep Nihiligo... Actually, no, Nihiligo dies to Coco. Actually, no, it doesn't. It doesn't. As long as we keep Nihiligo, I think we can 1v1 the Coco. So, let's see what he does. Um, we Do we kill the Gengar with Coco? Oh, we don't. Damage roll. Oh, but we get the power lights. Do we get the full power? We get the full power. It's game. Oh, no, we don't. All right, that's fine. Um, I guess he did do a smart play because I can't discharge here. Um, but what I can do is... Oh, okay, yeah, he's he's definitely got me in the ropes because that this is probably gonna. Oh, he's, yeah, he's gonna vault switch my Nihiligo. Like, I can't, I don't want to lose, uh, I don't want to lose my Pelipper just yet. So, like I said, and I can just Daz and Gleam here. I can't lose Pelipper just yet. So, if he no, oh no, okay, that that's bad. I was gonna Daz and Gleam next turn. He doesn't gleams us. We live. We be living. Alright, so now what I need to do is... Alright, uh, Pelipper. I think we need a gangbang on the Garchomp. So Hidden Power Ice, Garchomp, and Dazzling Gleam. No, we can't Dazzling Gleam because... Ah, oh, that Gengar's Cursed Body. I can't believe Cursed Body's actually going to beat me. Um, We're going to have to Hidden Power Ground the Tapu Coco. That's going to be... That's going to have to be our play. He's going to protect Tapu Coco, so we have to gang up on Garchomp. That's like our only way to win. No, he doesn't protect Coco. Oh, we just... Oh, I just like lost the game. Oh, that kind of sucks. Actually, no, we don't. Oh, but if he has Discharge... Oh my god, this is the mind games, guys. Alright, so we can either... Di oh, no, he's got Volt Switch. He's going to Volt Switch. He's got Volt Switch, doesn't gleam. Oh, he forfeits! Oh, he must have had Volt Switch. Oh my god. We take the win. Alright, so we do take the win. Wow, that's some that's some games I just hammered out there. Wow. I don't know if I went too fast. I am sorry guys, but um if you guys think I went too fast, please let me know in the comments. But I think I get way too excited in VGC. Like I really want to get into the VGC meta, so I have been hammering out so many games just to get my team pretty good. As you can see, we got four wins. We did lose once, but you can't win them all. And I am still learning. I think I may replace Malwak with someone else, but I might use a Torkoal team for the next live, but I will be subbing teams out, so I won't. you won't see this team for a while unless I decide to, like, obviously I'm getting wrecked and I need a good team and I'll bring this team back. So, next next live I might feature Torkoal or Ninetales, depends, like, what I'm kind of feeling at the moment. But, like that, guys, that's going to be the showdown live. This is my first live in a while, so sorry if it... No, it's a bit, like, a bit weird. Like, I am still kind of getting back into the, like, doing lives and showdown. So, yeah, please leave your comments. If you feel like I need to change anything and just like that, I'll see you guys in the next video.
Peace.